Good morning, YouTubes. I must confess that I have overslept. This morning, I was going to wake up at five and grab a taxi to Osh about six o'clock. But the time now is almost nine. So I don't think I will catch any cabs this late. I will just order a taxi here and then hopefully they can get me to the bus at uh, the parking lot where you can get the shared taxis. Okay, luckily I find a taxi really quick, so hopefully we will be there in 10 minutes and hopefully with some luck I will catch a shared taxi. Everything I have read on the internet is that the shared taxis go from 6 to 9 in the morning, so it will be hard for me to get one probably but with a little bit of luck. So we're getting closer to the market and at the end of the market, there should be some shared taxis. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, I just got a car just straight from the taxi. Uh, I was approached by this guy and I got a front seat, uh, which is a little bit more expensive, but I really want that. And it will be a 10 hour drive he said and he said also that he's the best driver in Kyrgyzstan so we will check that out <laughs> if that is the case I've heard that the, the, the road is uh, terrifying but at the same time extremely beautiful so I hope to see some beautiful mountains and some uh, scenery that is uh, out of this world are we going now directly no, yes. yeah so where are the people these people, yeah. Where are they? They're here. Cut to the next morning. I'm in Osh, so you might ask what happened. Well, uh, I had a deal with this taxi driver in Bishkek, and he said that he will go in two minutes. The two minutes become, became ten. I went out of the taxi to see if there was any other cars, and. I was uh, walking away from the taxi car and was surrounded by other drivers that were starting to fight over me. Not fighting with me, I was safe. They started to fight, pushing each other away from me, uh, showing me cars and so on and so on. So I thought that I would uh, just walk away and I started to walk away and I saw this man with his family in the car. Uh, and he just shouted Osh and I said yes and he offered me uh, 1,500 some which is 15 euros instead of 20 euros uh, So I jumped in into his car and we drove off. I wanted to shoot video, but it was raining constantly and the roads were so bad that uh, it was almost impossible to get a steady shot of anything and the sound in the car was also not good for filming so I didn't shoot anything except of some things with my phone I'm 3000 meters up and it's so cold I'm wearing shorts and short sleeves look at that view oh. We arrived at this, this family's village late, I think about 9 or 10, uh, and they offered me to stay there overnight, and I did so, and in the morning they drove me off to Osh, and now I'm here, and I'm trying to get a COVID test so I can get to Uzbekistan, and hopefully this place has opened because they opened at 1, and it's 1 sharp now. And the chin diaper must become a regular mask, so. Here we go. Oh my God, it's upside down. I'm breaking every rule there is about wearing the mask. Uh, so they are taking the test in the morning before 12 and then you get the result at three. So I have to come back here tomorrow early at seven and then they will take the test and they will give me a printed document so until then I will 
just try to hang out in ocean. So now I'm going to the bazaar just to check it out and then I will check into the hotel and have a shower. It's totally jammed here. So I got dropped off that market. It's very noisy. There's a lot of people. Hello. <laughs> oh, watermelons. How are... It's a real nice watermelon. What I will try to find today is maybe swimming shorts because I'm checking into a hotel with uh, a pool, so maybe I will swim. And a refrigerator magnet with Kyrgyzstan. I really need that for my refrigerator at home. I couldn't find anything like that in Bishek, which means that I think that the chances are not that high here either and I see I I need to check which way I'm going to go because I want to go to that direction where my hotel is and I don't remember what hotel I booked so I'm a little bit confused All right let's go into the market and see what we can buy here I'm looking for, oh my god, I almost fell down the hole. Okay, so they have a lot of bread and meat, but I want refrigerated magnets and maybe bathing shorts. Hello. People are buying stuff. Maybe there are more clothes there. Look at those melons. Wow. This is packed with stuff. You have clothing, you have food, you have spices. So I heard that you can taste some, um, I think it, there are like cheese balls, very salty. And I will try to find them and taste them. I heard that they are like just pure salt. It's like amazing here. Here are the cheese balls, but they're packing bags. I don't want a big bag because I don't think I will finish the whole bag. I just want to taste one. And oh, that's the end. You can go through here, maybe. Yes, there's a building in the in the middle of the market. Somebody's living here, maybe. This is the cheese balls, I think. Can I buy one, just one? Okay. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> Okay, tastes like black cheese with a lot of salt in and very dry. You get your whole mouth becomes totally dry when you taste it. Okay, then. I can imagine if you had watermelon with this, it would be amazing combo. But on its own, it just dries out your mouth. You need some fluid with this. And watermelon, the, the sweetness of watermelon combined with this salty cheese flavor would be amazing, I think. Now I would need to buy water from somebody, like over here. Do you have uh, a voda gas? Yes. One, please, because it's very salty. My God, it's so salty, and my lens is so dirty. Without gas. No, with with gas, with gas, with gas. <laughs> and maybe I can have some. My God, look at those. Maybe it's too early for that, but it's just lunch. Wow. Twenty-five. Do you have some energy drink? Yes. 
What uh, is there any any energy drink from uh, Kyrgyzstan? From Kyrgyzstan, this all is Russia. Well, all from Russia. Okay, uh -huh. I just need to drink because it's so salty. <laughs> I would need to drink like two bottles of water after this. <coughs> well, after like 10 minutes of Google Translate, we finally came to the explanation that you eat those cheese balls with beer. You drink beer and you eat them. It's like snacks, she said. And they're not the ones the cheese balls that I used to, but still, it was nice. And here you can buy some masks if you want to. Here are bathing stuff, so maybe they have bathing shorts. But no, there's toys. And here are the cheese balls that I have tried. There are some big ones. <gasps> A można foto zrobić tego. Można. These are shaped like pills. And those are the bigger one for those who need some extra salt. The short hunt continues. I had some cheese balls. And I still feel the salty taste in my mouth. It's not going away. I would love some watermelon at this moment. They're only selling watermelons, like, in one piece. I would like to have them, like, cut up so you can eat directly. But I haven't seen anybody offering that. The market continues, but still it's just foods and oil. So I think I will, I will give up that idea of buying shorts. I don't think it will be possible. Let's go to the hotel. So I have checked in to the hotel and I was a little bit surprised over the size of the room because it said like, 15 square meters or something like that, but actually it's like a junior suite. I have already messed up here with my packing. I travel light, so there's just like a, a backpack and that's it. So I have a sofa, I have a TV here, window, and then there's a, my underwear over there with the tiger that I bought in Albania. And then I have already messed up the bed because I have been doing some editing in the bed. There's a computer. And here, you see there's a pool. I haven't tried that yet because I couldn't find any uh, shorts, bathing shorts. But they, the lady in the reception said that they sell those. And that's me. And I have already used the shower. Uh, the toilet is kind of spacious. And look at this. The shower has like a switch here. So you can switch between this Mercedes Benz shower head and then there's a top one here. So it's like, feels like raining when you're showering. Later today I will meet up with uh, Piotr Pająk, he's a Polish YouTuber who is also in Kyrgyzstan uh, at the moment. I will grab a beer and a dinner with him, talk a little bit, uh, I won't record anymore for now, so see you tomorrow.